Official Idea Productions presents The Story of the Utterly Amazing Cloud Computing. Brought to you by The Color Green. Since its inception in the early mid-90s, cloud computing has become a mainstay of modern work, life, and leisure. The origin of the term cloud computing can be traced back to early network schematics where the appearance of overlapping server icons resembled the billows of clouds. Soon, a cloud-like shape came to be synonymous with areas on a network that required little explanation in order to understand the diagram as a whole. And by 1996, companies such as Compaq Computers had begun to develop internal use marketing strategies around these so-called cloud services, software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. Outside of the drawing room, the cloud is a metaphor for segments of a network that can be accessed from any number of devices through the Internet. Each segment utilizes the concept of virtualization, where one or more physical servers can be configured individually, but appearing to the user as a single physical device. Much like a traditional utility such as electricity, cloud services are set up on a pay-per-use basis, monitored across the grid, where services can be scaled or diverted to meet changing consumer needs while continuing to utilize the same basic resources. The history of the Internet itself goes back as far as the early 1960s with research into packet switching, online transaction processing, and the development of ARPANET. By 1986, interconnected internets were popping up in research and education institutions all across the United States and were gaining a foothold in Europe as well. By the mid-1990s, Time magazine was calling it the strange new world of the internet. The period was marked by the founding of a number of internet-based companies known as dot-coms that led to a time of unprecedented economic growth. But by the start of the new millennium, the dot-com bubble had burst, and many companies were scrambling to create efficiencies in their data centers that could rein in the huge expense that the Internet had become. Then in late 2003, a small Amazon.com development team in a satellite office in South Africa presented a paper to Chairman and CEO Jeff Bezos that took a more innovative approach. What if, the group envisioned, they could build a system that was made up of largely web-based services? and that was fully automated, requiring less systems maintenance, and that could be used by developers as a resource in their more complex applications. The idea was a hit. Amazon Web Services launched as a full-blown service in 2006, with a number of companies adopting the platform as a low-cost, flexible alternative to internal IT initiatives. Soon, any number of competing devices and services would pop up to meet growing consumer demand for what was now being called the cloud. Demand for services quickly growing. By 2008, and with capital investments by wireless and cable companies leading to increases in speed and reliability of networks, what once seemed like science fiction was now a feasible reality. A fast and inexpensive internet that could be used by anyone, practically anywhere. And the rest, as they say, is in the clouds.